Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sincerely grateful to the organizers for having invited me to represent the 27 million of uh, Uzbekist Uzbekistani population, which is now victim to a despotic regime. I'm happy to speak uh, here in front of you on behalf of the civil society of Uzbekistan. I, two years ago, I did not believe that I would come out of prison alive and, and uh, certainly wouldn't believe that I would be speaking at such a high-level forum on behalf of the civil society of Uzbekistan. My release from prison proved to our dictatorship, to our dictators, that international com the international community can change the decisions uh, of uh, the most vicious dictators. When I was arrested, my colleagues did not believe I would come out of prison alive. And I would like to thank you all for your active support, for working to set me free. And I would like to add I would certainly like to emphasize that Amnesty International have been extremely uh, kind and effective. The prison where I was incarcerated, I got uh, letters every day. And uh, this defeated, to a certain extent, uh, my goalers because they knew I was not alone. And the frontline organization is another one. When I was 45 and I celebrated my 45th birthday in prison, flowers were delivered to me, and it was an absolute first in a, in a women's prison. And the prison officials were forced to actually give those flowers to me, to me, a dangerous state criminal. And now I am undergoing treatment in France helped by the International Human Rights uh, Federation. And uh, they have uh, provided great conditions, very good conditions uh, for me, for my daughter, for my granddaughter, to enable me to actually undergo this necessary treatment, medical treatment. And. I'm very grateful uh, to these international organizations. Very briefly about myself, I'm uh, both uh, daughter and granddaughter of uh, so-called enemies of the people that uh, fell victims to Stalin's uh, reprisals in 1937. That was my grandfather. And my mother was the daughter of, of, an, of an enemy of the people. And she is now the mother of uh, uh, an enemy of the people. What concerns us is to raise the legal awareness amongst our population so that they believe that their rights and interests can be defended. When I was arrested after the Andy Jan events, riots, I was accused, I was charged, uh, although I'd only had uh, uh, one international award by then uh, to the tune of uh, just five thousand uh, six hundred dollars, and uh, and they charged me with using those funds to incite riots, disorder in Andijan, and. Uh, 
they demanded that I should give a, a witness statement that I should testify against uh, international human rights organizations, against my colleagues and comrades in arms. I refused. And so they added uh, several other charges. So I was actually prosecuted under 18 articles of uh, uh, Uzbekistani legislation. So they demanded that I admit my guilt. And when I refused to do that, I was tortured, I was tormented. And I really, as I said earlier, I just did not believe I would come out of that prison alive. I was certain that they would kill me, they would murder me for fighting for democracy. Svetlana Karnaukhova, a policewoman, beat me up so severely. Uh, but then, then, then I was looked at, examined by a doctor, but the doctor didn't say anything. And then I was, uh, I was, I spent uh, months in, a, uh, in, a, in isolation. I went on a hunger strike. But on the third day of my hunger strike, they force fed me. I demanded to see the prosecutor, but they refused to meet my demand. And uh, they put me like that in my isolation cell. I was hungry and I had to stand in that, in that uh, posture. And uh, then students were brought round, and I was uh, uh, put on display for them. And they, they told the students that whoever is going to fight the regime, this is, this is what will happen to, to, to them. So I was exhibited like an animal in a zoo. And students looked at me, the students looked at me and smiled, and I felt horrible. So I spent a long time in an isolation cell, and uh, they wanted me to write uh, a plea to the president for mercy. They would not allow the other women prisoners to talk to me, and all the all those insults, all those torments and tortures. The, my goalers were so confident that they would never have to be, uh, they would never have to be held liable for all that. And the only thing that gave me strength was your support. Even though most letters never got through to me, but uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, relatives of uh, other women prisoners, when they came to visit uh, the women in prison, they kept saying, who is this uh, Mutabor Tajibayeva so much talked about uh, in, every, uh, in every sort of uh, international mass media uh, out service? I, I apologize. I, I, I'm so nervous, but I'm so, I'm so happy, so excited to be here, to, to be talking to you. My Paris doctor didn't want me, didn't want to let me come here. But I was, uh, I was convinced that once I've been able, I've had this chance to talk to you about the sufferings of my people, to, to sort of un unburden my soul. I will feel better, and it will be better for my Paris doctor. Uh, talking about the Andijan events, as you can see them, 
the Uzbekistani government uh, is now trying through all mass media outlets to try to so they're trying to blame uh, Mutabar Tajibayeva for the deaths for for the death of about a thousand people. And now I'm sec second time in Europe, abroad. The authorities don't want me back. Or if I am back, uh, they will have to arrest me. They accused me that on the 15th of May, when I was actually, when I was actually under house arrest, they allege that I was at the same time the leader of the anti jan riots. I would also like to add that I always, uh, my dream was to have the support of international of international organizations of the world community uh, that uh, we would have support for uh, our political prisoners this is a disastrous situation in uzbekistan there's a huge unemployment uh, salaries are not paid pensions are not paid Corruption is rife. I heard presentations yesterday and I became aware that probably this is the way I should, uh, should do it as well. I should write. I have lots and lots of documents, so when I get back to France, I'm going to write a book. Uh, under the title of uh, The Captive of an Island of Torture. It will be a documentary. When I was awarded uh, uh, Martin uh, the international international Martin Ennels uh, award that made uh, the, uh, the Uzbekistani authorities very angry and then when I when, when I got another award uh, from the United States that really incensed them because uh, they they think that uh, their scorn, their contempt for, for the ordinary people is so great. They think that uh, civil society is a joke, or, or rather, it's worse. They're, they're worse than terrorists. So I would like to ask you to appeal to you to intensify your efforts to help our people to fight uh, the dictatorship. I apologize if I wasn't very coherent or eloquent, but thank you for your patience and attention.